Welcome to History with Master Squishies. In today's video, we'll be covering the history of the stirry meal. We'll be going over who made it, the design, what nations used it, some of the battles it took place in, and how it performs in game. To start off with, the stirry meal, which means stubborny meal, also known as the 12.8 centimeter. I'm not completely sure how to pronounce it, but I'll put it on screen. Alf VK 30.01H or the Panzer SFL 5. Stubborn Emil was most likely the name given to the vehicle due to its slow speed and constant mechanical issues. It was an experimental German self propelled anti fortification gun converted from the VK 3001H with a total conversion number of two. They both had names. One was Max while the other was Moritz. This was named after the German storybook Max and Moritz, a story of seven boyish pranks. The Sturry Meal was made after the Dicker Max was shown off and was to work alongside it. But Germany feared that the 10.5 centimeter gun wasn't enough to destroy fortified bunkers, so a 12.8 centimeter gun was equipped to the Sturry Meal. The Sturry Meal used the Henschel VK3001 chassis, which was a prototype heavy tank that would lead to the creation of the Tiger I, but was slightly modified with the hull being stretched and an extra road wheel was added to help accommodate the large 12.8 centimeter gun. An open top fighting compartment was fitted to the chassis, similar to the Hummel self-propelled gun. The Sturry Meal was equipped with a fixed frontal superstructure, mounted with a Rhein Metall 12.8 centimeter Pack 40 L-61 had a minimum of 15 millimeters of armor and a maximum of 50 millimeters of armor. It had a crew of five, a weight of 35 tons, a length of 9.7 meters or 31.10 feet, a width of 3.16 meters or 10.4 feet, a height of 2.7 meters or 8.10 feet, and a max speed of 16 miles per hour. Next, we'll move on to its operational history. Both Sturry Meals fought on the Eastern Front starting in spring 1941. One Sturry Meal, named Max, was either destroyed or abandoned due to continuous mechanical issues in 1942 before the winter. The second, named Moritz, was captured at Stalingrad in January 1943 with at least 22 kills claimed based off its barrel marks. On one occasion, the 12.8 centimeter gun knocked out a KV-1 from a mile away. Finally, we'll move on to how it performs in War Thunder versus how it performed historically. The Sturry Meal in War Thunder is well done. The minimum armor is 10 mm when it should be 15 mm and the maximum armor is right at 50 mm. The gun is right with it being a 12.8 cm Pack 40 L-61 and the speed is almost right at 15.5 mph when it should be 16 mph. All in all, the Sturry Meal is well done and there's nothing major that needs to be fixed. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, squish that like button, subscribe, let me know what you want to hear about next. I'll see you in the next one.